December, though, it was a fairly average month all in all, but there was a lot of variety from that place to place across the country, no more so than with temperature. Well, we reached at 25 degrees there or thereabouts in Gravesend on the 22nd, just four days later, down to minus 4.4 in the highlands of Scotland. But now it is all about the rain, as you're probably well aware. We've got severe weather warnings in force for various parts of the country. It started across the southwest of England, and then it engulfed much of uh, England and Wales, parts of Scotland too, over the last few hours. You get a sense that it's all moving west to east along this rippling weather front, and that process will continue through the rest of the day. So there will be some west-east variety, western parts of Scotland, seeing some brightness further east, though the dregs of the rain hanging on, still some heavy pulses for eastern England and down across East Anglia in the southeast through this afternoon. Uh, some fairly heavy and persistent rain. After what's been a promising start to the day, things will deteriorate here with some uh, pretty wet weather as we end the day. But improving further west, though, so drying out and the brightening up across the southwest of England, broken cloud and sunshine, and winds dying down too. So it's still quite pleasant here with temperatures in the mid teens. And that's the story for Wales as well the rain clearing away and eventually the sun coming out. Northern Ireland is seeing some of the best of the weather today, just a few showers knocking about, but uh, plenty of dry and bright weather in between. As we go into the night, many places stay dry, but that rain just hangs on across East Anglia in the southeast. It's going to be a pretty wet night here, heavy and persistent rain, with the risk of some flooding, I think. But for the rest of us, it's not rain the problem. Perhaps fog, though, with light winds and the ground so saturated, it does give scope for fog to form by the early hours of Monday morning. A fresh start. We've got a little bit of a ridge of high pressure trying to edge in between weather systems. But this front here is going to linger, I think, for much of the day across East Anglia and South East. So a damp old start gradually starting to dry up, but I don't expect much in the way of sunshine. Elsewhere, though, it will be a fine day with light winds and sunny spells before more rain arrives across Northern Ireland through the afternoon. Temperatures in the best of the sunshine up to around 16 or 17 degrees, and it should feel quite pleasant. The weather not really settling down though through this week. It'll stay quite breezy and there will be further spells of rain at times for most of us. This is the picture on Tuesday, a weakish weather front crossing the UK, bringing a band of showers, but it won't be too active. So uh, the rain shouldn't be too heavy or too persistent. Um, there's a good chance that you'll see plenty of dry and bright weather on Tuesday. And again, temperatures doing pretty well in the sunshine, 16, 17, 18 degrees. You'll notice rain though never far away from the far southeast of England. That's because the weather fronts never quite get out of the way and there'll be a threat through the middle part of the week across the southeast with the potential for some more persistent rain for example on Wednesday but elsewhere it should be a drier and brighter midweek again with some sunny spells and still pretty mild for the time of year. Into Thursday still those fronts are close to the far southeast but hopefully clearing away so a settled picture for many of us. Again, it'll be a bit of a breeze, but all in all, not too bad. And then it'll change again as we end the week. A very active low pressure system spinning up and edging in from the west. Some uncertainty about how far east it'll get. Eastern parts of the UK probably staying dry and bright, but turning wet and windy from the southwest later.